Hello, how are you? Welcome to the uh, mystery card for today. It's July 8th, uh, 2021. All right, uh, it is a virtual hangout, so uh, thanks for joining. Um, if you are watching uh, this live, please share, um, like, comment, uh, then I know you're here watching live. And if you happen to be watching on the replay, please share with me that you are watching on the replay. Um, it is totally cool with that. Um, yeah, I really wanna be able to offer, have that opportunity to show you guys uh, and girls um, cards and uh, paper product uh, paper products and 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 how they work um, so yeah lots of things to to share I'll be quick with that and um, I just wanted to say as well that um, August 2nd until August 2nd uh, the 15 percent off uh, the DSP the um, designer series paper is absolutely gorgeous um, you can go and shop at my uh, online store and use the host code um, and if you make a purchase of $60 or more um, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to uh, you know uh, get a little bit of a little treat from me from making a purchase um, I'm just seeing here if we are I see that we're live but for whatever reason it's just taking a little bit longer uh, for uh, all the social media stuff to uh, it is showing that I'm live there we go awesome I hope the volume is good um, and if I don't see your comment or uh, anything like that oh hi Lisa hi Kate thank you so much for for watching yes definitely uh, I'll only know uh, how to do this uh, better by you uh, you folks giving me the feedback so um, all right so yes 15% off until August 2nd uh, really right now um, if you were to join my team the winking stellars uh, you will be able to uh, purchase um, $165 worth of product uh, from any of the current catalogs that are available. Uh, you get the automatic discounts um, and uh, you'd be able to get into the paper share, uh, like the, the DSP paper, sorry, uh, for $135. Um, but an incentive that they're offering as well, um, if you were to join right now, is you get to choose a bundle of your choice. And that could be a bundle with a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set with a a die set so it's a great uh, a great opportunity if you're wanting to get that free uh, bundle uh, it actually can be a, a value up to I think it works out to be uh, depending on which bundle you purchase or you choose to, to take as your as your uh, free uh, giveaway um, I think it's like seventy dollars sixty five seventy five dollars so it's a it's a nice little uh, little bit of a treat uh, an event that's coming up uh, Christmas in July um, it is my fourth annual uh, there's gonna be lots of make and takes uh, prizes games um, a nice afternoon so that you can kind of get a head start on your um, on your uh, on your event uh, for Christmas time and what that might look like for you so uh, let me know go on to my um, business page as well as my online store and you can click on the events and the upcoming uh, uh, details with that okay all right so I did post the actual um, uh, let's see the the actual uh, measurements for this specific card um, it might seem a little bit complicated if you don't have some of the product um, you know what you can always shop with me or uh, you can um, actually be able to um, use what you have in your craft space all right so I am going to show you here now this particular uh, card has quite a few elements but it is very simple I will walk you through uh, there was a US demonstrator um, that I was watching a video uh, and her name is uh, Lisa Kasuri uh, Kuch, uh, oh pardon me I might have just dropped the bomb on your name Lisa I totally apologize uh, Curcio there we go Lisa Curcio and um, she's a lovely demonstrator I actually have met her 
uh, once at, at a convention uh, at 2018 when I first started. So I've been following her. Um, she's a really great, uh, a really great, uh, I guess, mentor as well. Um, uh, and she's above and beyond the the people who I or work alongside I should say work alongside the people that um, in the Canadian uh, market so um, I, I have to do a shout out for her and so uh, what I did was I took took her kind of a card project and I kind of modified it a little bit just to make it work for me um, and I always encourage you folks to do the same all right so um, I'm gonna show you here uh, another I'm doing another shout out I'm gonna celebrate everybody here and Granger which is a uh, my our senior leader in our stamp to create group um, she was able to uh, share alongside us some uh, tidbits of information regarding the um, DSP papers for the annual catalog so her and some other leaders were able to get together and they created this type of um, uh, uh, project so that us as demonstrators or even fellow um, uh, uh, crafters, hobbyists, were able to have this as a uh, kind of a go-to page. So I will only show you today the hand-penned 12 by 12 DSP sampler um, and uh, all the coordinating colors, uh, black, uh, basic black, um, blushing bride, cinnamon cider, daffodil delight, garden green, highland heather, mint macaron, misty moonlight pale papaya and pool party so really um you've got a great combination of colors um that do coordinate with this uh dsp so i actually have um all of my uh, sampler boards in these plastic sleeves um and so if i'm feeling not less uh, not as this inspired um then i can go to this but it's also a great way for me to showcase uh the uh, paper that I'm working with along these uh, virtual uh, events and then you can see as well and hopefully will that will inspire you as well all right and we're also going to be using the color contour stamp set um, as well as the die that complements and that is the scalloped what are we calling that one that is the scalloped uh, contour dies um, a beautiful set you've you folks have seen me uh, use this um, uh, set before it is in the annual and very excited to continue to use this product um, so yes and we're going to be working with some embossing uh, powders and the uh, Versamark technique so uh, they changed it up Stampin' Up! have changed it up a little bit as far as how they uh, uh, offer the embossing powder um, and right now you can order it in uh, groups of three and we have um, the metallic uh, stampin boss powder and we also have um, the basic now the basic is black white and clear all right and the nice thing about the clear if, if anyone's not really familiar think why would I use clear um, clear is uh, allowing you to emboss any color that is in any of the series that Stampin' Up! offer. So it's like, like, oh, I can't, I want to emboss in something like crumb cake or I want it just jade. Um, I can stamp the image in that just jade, use the Stamparatus um, and re-stamp it with the Versamark and then I can sprinkle the uh, clear uh, powder onto the uh, the image or the sediment that I'm I'm uh, working alongside and the um, heat embossing would be perfect with that um, and then it just kind of you get that color you get the color that you want so the metallics are um, I believe I'm wanting to say copper um, gold copper and um, silver okay because uh, they did yeah copper silver and gold um, and you know what use them all three at the same time um, there'll be some Christmas cards coming a little bit later on and I will be showcasing uh, all three of those colors in one of the uh, projects that I'm creating all right so uh, we've got all our measurements please don't worry I've always mentioned that I will post the sizes 
of uh, the uh, card project that I'm using. It is posted. It will be on my uh, newsletter as well. Okay. All right. So first we're going to grab, um, first we're going to make sure that we do have all the pieces here. So I've got my card base and that measures eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored at four and a quarter. And so what we're going to do is just make sure that um, I'm going to grab the bone folder and that will uh, just varnish the, varnish the fold of that card. All right, and we'll just tuck that aside for now. And we've got, now I'm using uh, Evening Evergreen and this measures at two and five eighths and by five and a half. And then we have the Cinnamon Cider, which is the in color for 2020 to 2022. So it will, it will uh, run current uh, until the next annual catalog. Um, the nice thing about the end colors as well is um, they do run um, for two years. So um, they can be used uh, and stay current for that. So you can see here that they are the same length, five and a half, but there's a little bit of a border. There's a little bit of a border. Hi, Monica, how are you? Thanks for joining. Um, so, I want to be able to have that little bit of an edge of that center, cinnamon cider come away. Now, um, what I'm going to do is just flip that over. It really doesn't matter. There, it's just a solid cardstock. I'm going to grab my stamp and seal, and I want to make sure that I really gum this up. And you'll understand why. I wouldn't normally, if I'm just doing a, a simple layered card like this, um, I wouldn't normally put this much adhesive. But you'll understand why when I do. Uh, do what I'm doing here. Okay, I just see if I'm on the in the in the screen, and I'm just gonna line that up right there. Now I didn't mention this in the measurements or the requirements for um, what you were needing for this card. If you have it, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too, because I will be showing you some uh, card projects that I've made with this design, um, and. Um, that'll be good so I will be pulling in a um, 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 an embossing folder I'm just bringing in I'm just bringing in my uh, little mini cut and boss machine I had actually a oh it was so much fun uh, it was a small group but we had a in-person uh, card party on the weekend it was under my gazebo and uh, we we made actually six cards I thought I was only gonna be doing three cards but we ended up making uh, was it five three four five five cards um, I threw in a couple bonus cards um, for the for the uh, attendees so I think they were really uh, really happy about that so I'm actually using the greenery there's two small um, uh, folders that come with this particular uh, uh, embossing set and with that um, I'm going to be making sure that I want the impression of the um, little leaves that are on this particular embossing folder up so you can tell always the way Stampin' Up! have worked now is that they have the Stampin' Up! Uh, label um, their insignia there on on the front part of the card so because I've already uh, adhered these together I'm just gonna slip this in um, in the folder and always use the spine first between the um, between the um, machine okay so I'm gonna first get plate number one and I'm gonna put the um, paper inside the folder with the folder with the spine in and I'm gonna because this is just a standard embossing folder I am just going to use plate number three so you'll see here I'm just gonna give it a little bit of an inch to kind of kind of come through and I can just hold on to the <coughs> excuse me the handle crank a little bit and um, we're gonna be good to go okay and Sometimes you may need to go through it twice, but I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't need to at this point, even though there are two layers. So there we've got a nice 
um, embossing uh, paper uh, ready to go to add to the project. Okay, so I'm going to be using the uh, em cut emboss machine again uh, in a little while, but first I'm just going to tuck it away and see how cute that is. It just kind of tucks away to throw into anyone's uh, crossover bag or purse. It's not that heavy, um, so it's great for, you know, if you want to go to the cottage or you're just sitting at hopefully maybe the airport at one time, um, or you're just wanting to craft with a friend and she may, she or he may not have that, um, that product to use. Okay. All right. So I'm going to grab that card base again. And we're going to be putting this on here, but we're not going to fix it with glue yet, okay? I want to kind of just kind of figure out hmm, where I want this to go because you see, we're going to be incorporating this um, this little strip, which is one by five and a half, and I'm going to be bringing this one over uh, to this side. Now, I I think you guys and girls have recognized that I do like things that are framed. Um, so I'm going to be leaving a little bit of the card base of this early evergreen, um, or sorry, evening evergreen, um, in this. Now one strip down with, with adhesive, and again this particular DSP in the hand-penned uh, series is uh, does have the early evergreen. I believe it has the mint macaroon and the cinnamon cider. So I really wanted to showcase that uh, that color. So you can see there, um, that's just ready to go there. Okay, so I'm gonna also grab a pencil. Um, I don't need a, um, a pen, but I need a pencil. And I wanna mark just a little bit of uh, a line on the card base beside where I am going to be going to be going to be um, uh, using the embossing folder again and I'm going to be stamping an image so I'm just I don't want to do it too dark but I do have a pencil so I will be able to erase it so you can see there you've got um, you've got that line there uh, just there's a bit of a delay so yeah you can see that in the uh, in your screen okay alrighty and what I'm going to do is, this is where I'm going to be using the heat embossing um, technique. And I, again, I'm going to be pulling out this particular, out of the color and contour uh, stamp set, this image here, okay? So let's pull in the um, embossing powder and the... Um, Versa mark, okay? So this is uh, like a watermark stamp pad, as it says. Um, again, you can use it with any of the embossing uh, powders. And uh, there is a couple other, uh, let's see, products that Stampin' Up! have that are still current. And uh, it actually makes snow. Um, you can actually use the Versa mark, or, or it's just crazy. Um, there's just so much that you can use. Um, with this and uh, I can always do a video on that. So I've already got uh, for the sake of this video the uh, stamp on one of my blocks and because it's a fairly large stamp um, and I did say whether it's a medium or a large image um, that you want to stamp. Okay, so I do only want to do one shot. Now again, I've always mentioned that you can use your Stamparatus um, that will help you if you feel you're not quite with the steady hand or you just really want to do multiple uh, card projects, <clears throat> you'd be able to do that. Okay, so that should be gummed up pretty good. All right, now what I'm gonna do is because this is, has a stem on this image, I want this stem, I'm gonna turn it over where I'm gonna be placing it down on this card base. I want the stem to be on the right side of that uh, line, okay? And we're not going to worry about that line so much, but um, I want to make sure, I'm just going to wipe that down there, I got a little cloth. Okay, so I want the line, sorry, well the line to be to the left of the actual um, image but I don't want the stamp image to be over the card. 
So I'm hoping that I've pressed hard enough because the next step is I'm going to be bringing in that um, embossing powder, okay? I think we're good, right? All right, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to tie in here. I've got a little bit of cardstock here. I'm going to grab um, the powder, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm just going to sprinkle some of the white embossing powder or clear I, it's this is white this is white sorry not the clear but if you had a different um, if you had a different um, colored cardstock base then you could totally um, totally 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 um, let me see I better grab I better grab, I don't want to have any of that embossing I forgot to use. I have a little embossing buddy and I didn't use that this time. Uh-uh. That's okay. Let me see. Let me see how careful I am here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that might, it might add some image, right? So that's okay. Might some add some element to the image. All right, so let's put this extra powder that we're not using for this card back in the little container. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, well, that's not going to be... I'm not overly impressed with that image stamp, but guess what? We're going to grab it. For the sake of the video, you can get the idea. Again, we're not perfect, are we? But I will show you some other projects that I did. So I'm just going to grab the heat tool. And you'll see before your eyes, um, some people call it magic. What I might do is re-stamp this because I'm working with a photopolymer stamp and a clear block. <clears throat> I just might do that. We'll try that image again. All right, so let's say we did. All right, so let's grab this Versa mark again. I'm gonna see how how good I am. I, I totally do make mistakes. You guys know that. All right, so I'm gonna just pull this in a little bit so I can see where I am. Now some of that will be covered up by the actual, um, my head might get in the way here, folks, but let me just bring this down a little bit. You'll see what I'm going to do in a second once I get this proper. I hear my husband coming down the stairs. He's going, shh, I'll be quiet. But he's okay. Let's see here. Let's see how steady my hand is here. All right, let's see. I'm gonna just go over that. And if you actually, anytime you're doing a project like this, you'll see that anyways, I have missed it a little bit. I haven't lined it up 100%. Again, if I was using my Stamparatus, that probably would have worked even better. Again, that's why Stampin' Up! have opened up these uh, available products for us to use so that we can make really good images. All right, so let me just sprinkle this again with the embossing folder, or the embossing uh, powder, sorry. <clears throat> and I think we'll get, we'll get a little bit of a, a it's not a clean image. I kind of want to just, I don't know if it wasn't lying, I would probably uh, fix that and just grab a brand new cardstock, just for the sake of doing, I, you know what? Are you guys okay if I do that? Because I really, I really, 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 really uh, want to make sure that I have a good image there. 
because in order for me to show you um, this particular, so let me just grab, I'm gonna grab a piece of cardstock and cut this quick. Cut this quick, quick, quick. So four and a quarter. I'm gonna score that. And I'm gonna take a five and a half. And now with that piece, I'm gonna be able to make two, uh, two cards, two card bases. So I'm gonna grab the bone folder. All right, so there we go, we've got that. I know that we've already um, cut that and done the measurements there. So I'm just gonna grab the, um, what you call it, um, pencil and then I'm going to be able to line that up a little bit and I'm just going to draw draw that line again just be quick here all right and then then I can grab my embossing buddy and uh, I wish they would maybe we can put it in the sandbox if you guys out there in the demonstrator world um, or any stampin up uh, crafters want to uh, have a product maybe brought back um, the Stampin' Buddy is uh, really a nice uh, compliment to, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, embossing world. Okay, so that's that's it there. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to grab the Versa Mark again, and we're going to just really make sure that this is gummed up. And the nice thing, once we're on replay. Um, once we're on replay with the uh, Facebook lives or when I do my YouTube videos you can always stop and start and and work with um, uh, work with me alongside um, when I'm doing these I think that's probably good 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 um, really gummed up so let's try this again again I want to make sure if anyone uh, didn't hear the first part of the um, instruction there. I do want to make sure that that stem is to the right of this pencil mark and I do not want to have any of the uh, imagery on off the page I should say. Okay so I'm just gonna bring that down. Oh let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. All right and add a little excuse me I'm gonna add a little bit of pressure there. <clears throat> seconds just so that they marry each other there we go I think that's gonna work better that makes me happy 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 all right so I'm gonna grab that uh, piece of cardstock people use coffee filters to pour the uh, powder on and then you can just make it whatever easy for you okay um, oh that doesn't look like well let's see what we got here i don't know something's happening with this embossing uh this versa mark i'm not sure what's happening because i think you'll see something in a min minute once i put the heat we'll see what happens we'll see what happens it may not be maybe it's just my eye i'm being picky 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 Oh, August. Hey, I didn't. I didn't mention earlier. Um, I'm having a event near the end of August. It's going to be uh, supporting the. Um, uh, I might. Yeah, I'm probably going to work it out that there's going to be a little bit of a fundraising effort, um, and uh, I'm still working out the details with that. Um, but it's going to be the peach, and we're going to be making uh, a project uh, as well as cards as well. So it's going to be a fun event, um, and once I finish off the Christmas in July, uh, I will be able to uh, start working on the uh, August classes, and I'll stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm going to grab the heat tool, bring that back in. It does have two settings, um, but I do like to use the uh, high, uh, the number two, okay? This gets very hot. Actually, I have a story. I have a, a, a colleague I used to work with years ago who's retired, but uh, shout out to Josie. And, uh, and anyways, uh, she and her husband were doing a floor 
Uh, I'm not endorsing this at all, but I uh, really thought it was quite cool. She's uh, stamped for years, and her and her husband were lifting up um, some flooring in a home that they purchased uh, in their retirement home, but it was not coming. The glue that was being used for this flooring and everything, but they knew they needed to remove the flooring. Anyways, she used this heat gun and it totally removed the tile. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, I howled when she told me. Anyways, um, it does get hot and uh, so that's kind of like the reason why I told you that story. All right, so there you can see that you've got that white embossed image there. All right, okay, so this is where the fun kind of begins. Now I'm gonna grab um, the DSP so that I can put a strip, a new strip of uh, paper um, on that card as well. So let me just grab that um, paper trimmer and I'll grab us another strip here. Sorry of the delay, but I'd rather show you first. Now it was a one inch, I believe it was a one inch uh, strip of paper. And yes, this uh, DSP, this hand penned uh, DSP comes in 12 by 12 sheets. So you can cut them down uh, to make it easier for your crafting uh, experience. Uh, whether you're a stamper or you are a scrapbooker, um, it's really up to you what, what you want to be able to do there. Okay, so you can see here again, we'll do just uh, mimic that uh, mimic that and uh, I am going to as I mentioned before I really want to leave a little bit of a border on there it just gives that card base a pop okay all right so now with this because we have that line there I'm just gonna grab that pencil uh, with the eraser and I'm just going to remove that uh, pencil mark and it is very light um, it is very light the pencil mark but you do want to make sure that you've removed removed that okay so it's nice how that just is a nice little embossed uh, technique I think that's can't see with the lighting there if that that looks good all right so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna fix this again yet um, I'm gonna line this up here I'm actually going to grab the die that complements the stamp. And what I'm gonna do is, and I've got a little bit of washi tape here, but I wanna have the washi tape hold on to the die and the card, part of the card, um, card stock that I'm not going to be using in my card. I'm gonna be putting it on the negative space, okay? All right, so. We'll just do this here, quick, quick, quick. All right, so I'm gonna line that up like as if I'm gonna be putting it uh, right over the image. And I would say that's probably good. So you can, s oh, I better, I better, better, better grab another piece of uh, washi tape. You can use painter's tape, you can use post-it note. Um, it really is uh, your choice and what you have available to you okay all right so let's try this again all right so again I'm going to make sure that the washi tape that I'm using is literally on the negative space that uh, which is the inside of the stamp the stamped uh, image like inside the die here okay so I'm going to put another piece just because it's a longer <clears throat> excuse me a longer um, die okay let's see if that makes uh, let's see if that sticks that's that's good okay I'm gonna bring back the mini cut and boss machine and because I'm not using the um, embossing folder, I'm going to be bringing back plate number one, and I'm going to be using two clear cutting plates, okay, so that's how I'm going to sandwich that. So I'm going to put the first one down, so I've got number one, I've got number two, 
And sometimes you may have to stagger. Um, and if, what I mean by staggering is that there's little, I don't know if you can see this in the, in the video, but they're a little bit thinner on the edges of both ends of your plates, and that's for all of them. Um, and what you may have to do is if you line them up too tight together so that there is, um, they're flush, I guess, with each other, sometimes, especially if you're working with a die and maybe a tharp, a thicker piece of cardstock it doesn't want to go through when you're cranking the wheel so um, or the handles so uh, what I suggest is that um, you kind of stagger it and what I mean by staggering is if you kind of allow some of it to kind of if you can see there um, you have like a stagger in your um, plates okay um, if that works for you okay so you can see there it's got a little bit of a stagger okay so again i'm going to put in plate number one plate number two and um i'm going to grab my paper with my die and you will notice too in the annual or the actual uh mini that's coming out the mini catalog that's coming out uh, august uh 3rd i believe second or third um the uh what is it the the any type of dies or embossing folders that actually support are supported by the mini uh cut emboss machine there will be an icon a little a little icon i believe it is uh, colored uh, i want to say blue i don't know why i want to say blue um let me see if i can find one here um i know at the front of the catalog I know at the front of the catalog it tells you to what it is an N and for new product uh, the mini no that's not where it is oh my goodness um, the mini 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 all right folks uh, the mini so it's actually it's a it's just a silver I can even show you here um on say on this oh my goodness all right so you can see here uh with the embossing folders um there's the n which will show that it's a brand new product um in the annual catalog or in the mini catalog when it comes out in august um but there's a little icon with a mini cut emboss machine so all these particular uh embossing folders um, were supported are supported with the mini um, and also you will find that with all your stamp sets so in the bottom it would be the bottom right hand corner in uh, the Stampin' Up! product that support this particular machine alright so let's just crank this through and uh, continue on with this card um, I felt a little bit squirrely there I'm sorry I uh, that's how I am squirrels all right, so let's push that aside. Let's see if that cut through nicely. Yes, beautiful. All right, so let's push these guys aside too. All right, okay. So now I can remove that, um, now I can remove that um, die and get that out of the way. I've just got some of the embossing uh, Powder, it's loose and uh, I'm wondering if I can just kind of grab my putty tip and if that picks it up not really hmm. interesting I'll have to look at why that does that okay so now we've got our card and our card base and what I'm gonna do is use dimensionals and I'm just gonna grab the large dimensionals and because this is a fairly large space and there's some like thin cutouts here I'm just gonna get as close as I can uh, to those edges especially if you're mailing your card in postal service you want to make sure that um, it doesn't squish it down um, it doesn't squish it down um, by uh... oh my goodness Oh. It 
really is so cute once you see this here. All right. Now I did not as well put um, on the instructions or the you know product needed um, that you can, if you want to, you can always use the um, some embellishments, some ribbons. Um, again, after I've completed this card, I will show you a few more that I have made uh, in this series, and um, you'll see that I've been able to put some ribbon and some embellishments, um, some jewels on <clears throat> on those other cards. Okay, so there we go. And now what we're going to do is just line up. Now we're just going to line up that there okay now this little guy here just because of the image itself most images may not give you that that grief um, but if that's something that you want to um, you know uh, fix let's say we did and I'm just gonna grab um, a um, I'm gonna grab a glue dot okay and I'm just gonna roll that up in a little ball and I'm just gonna place that underneath there I could get a mini dimensional and even maybe cut that mini dimensional all right there we go and now what we're gonna do is put the image on <clears throat> excuse me and uh, let's see, let's see. I think I've already got a few images here ready to go. Um, and I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna use the Evening Evergreen. Some people have their signature where they only use black uh, when they're stamping uh, image or, um, sentiments. Um, but I like the wording in all sorts of colors. It depends on what you're wanting to do to complement that card. Um, again, that becomes your choice. So, here for you now. Oh dear. Okay, I gotta flip that over because I didn't like how, actually, let's see if I can do this. Oh my goodness. I didn't even have enough coffee today. Maybe I need more coffee. It's all about chocolate too, people, folks. Oh, and wine. There we go, here for you now, okay? And I've got the inside of the card, and what I'm gonna do is, while I have the ink out, I'm gonna grab the inside, and the inside is gonna say, and in better days ahead. So, here for you now, and, and in better days ahead, okay? Here we are. All right, so now we're done with that ink, and I'm going to close that up. Tuck that away. Excuse me. Now, because this um, because this is already raised, this uh, middle of the card, what I'm going to do is just take this stamp and seal and affix that just to the middle of the, um, you can see that I did it off the board, but I didn't put glue on the edges of that uh, tag. <clears throat> now you could bunny ear it, you could um, do a little bit of a uh, fishtail if you want. Um, you can put a different type of, um, uh, different type of uh, uh, tag if you'd like. But again, that's up to you. Did you see what I did there? I must have had ink somewhere on me, and when I smeared that, oh my goodness, people, I'm really, really, really um, off today, off today. All right, so let's grab another piece, because I just can't, I can't, I can't live without it. I can't live, I gotta, I gotta fix this here. All right, so let's grab that uh, evening evergreen again. I have to stamp again. Oh my goodness. All right, so I gotta find out where that ink came from because I don't want that to happen again. What is going on? There must be something I can't see here. Well, I'll have to, once I clean up my craft space, <laughs> that happens. But guess what? We just do it the same but better.
All right, not bad for my second round. Okie dokie. All right, so now I can take that, um, now I can take that um, inside of the card and I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, adhesive there and I'm gonna bring that, open that up. Now, if you want to, you can put um, more imagery uh, inside. Uh, you can do that as well. Again, that becomes your card. Okay, so there we go. Here for you now and in better days ahead. All right, so I'm gonna show you as I promised the other cards that I made, I use the uh, Midnight, uh, um, what did I use? Knight of Navy, I use the Knight of Navy and uh, with one of the complimentary colors and this one says, I miss you. I did not yet put the inside of the card in, but with this one, I did not actually heat emboss. All I used was the white, um, Whisper White uh, ink pad. Uh, that I believe is still current as well. It's a pigment ink. Um, I thought I would try it just to see. And then just to get, add a little bit of sparkle, of course, what's a card without winking stellar, right? You gotta have a winking stellar. So I used uh, wink of stell. What, wink of stellar, okay? So this tool here, um, wink of stellar, okay? Stella. All right, so then I also have this one. It says the same thing here for you now, but I used the other uh, color coordinating colors to um, to this hand penned uh, DSP. And then again, I used the um, uh, Misty Moonlight uh, ink to stamp the image. And I used some, uh, some little black uh, enamel dots. And then I heat embossed with the black, okay? All right, so there we go. We've got your th three cards today, and uh, this image here. Uh, again, at Stamp with Nadine V. Um, if you like my work, please like, share, comment, and um, follow me on YouTube. I've got some more uh, videos that are going to be coming up there shortly. Uh, just a heads up for next week and the week after for my uh, virtual hangouts. They will be posted, but they won't be live. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a vacation with my family, and I'm uh, not sure, you know, again at this point uh, where I will be. I will still be probably pay playing with paper and, of course, doing some hair. Uh, but listen, take care. Have a great, uh, great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.